Bendición a la fiesta, everybody. This is your favorite cookie. Sit back with another video. Um, I got a request from uh, one of my subscribers to do a song for Osain, Inle, and then I did not forget about you. Uh, it's on Cista Seven Crossroads. I'm working on picking exactly. I'm pretty sure I know exactly which song I want to do. I can't do a speed one. Um, but yeah, I want to do a video for uh, for Osain today. Like always, in the description box below, you'll see the the translations for this particular song. It's the for this particular Risha. This is the only song that I have the direct English translations. Um, any further ones than that, unfortunately, I don't have. But I am working more Osain Inle in the Canto Speed Plan. And like always, sing it at regular speed. Then I slow it down, and then I have the notes at the bottom. Okay, so Canto for Osain, and you can move up. So. I'm gonna start at regular speed. Kuru kuru bete mari wo sai mari wo re mari wo kuru kuru bete mari wo sai mari wo re mari wo. That's it. It's a really easy song. It's the most common song that is sung for Osain. Okay, I'm gonna slow it down. Kuru kuru bete mari wo sai mari wo re mari wo. Eh kuru kuru bete mari wo sai mari wo re mari wo. Um, over here at the bottom, you're gonna you can move back. Um, so the variation, so there's three notes. I put it up to I put three notes. Um, so there's you know I always say there's different variations. Some people sing things differently. So one variation is uh you know kuru kuru bete mari wo sai. Mari worere. So the first note is Mari worere. Some people instead of saying Mari worere, Mari wo, they say Mari worere, Mari wo, Mari worere. So instead of Mari worere, they say Mari worere. Um, the difference between re, uh, Mari wo, ore, you know, together it means uh, uh, goodness. Ore means goodness. And so to put rere, it means goodness, goodness. Um, and mariwo, mariwo is ah, I can't remember the the technical name of of uh, that straw material that's used. Um, a lot of the arishas have it around their waist. The male arishas, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a material, mariwo. So mariwore, mariworere. So. Um, I personally, what I personally say, I say mari wore, just one, as opposed to mari wore. But a lot of times you will hear both 50-50. Second note is, um, I've also heard a different rendition where instead of saying, kuru kuru bete, mari wo sai, mari wore, mari wo, they'll say, kuru kuru meye, mari wo sai, mari wore, mari wo, uh, mari wo ye. So, you know, keep that in mind, you know, kuru kuru meye, mari wo sai, mari wo ye. Um, uh, the difference may it, um, maybe, no, that means two. I'll get the translation, but just keep in mind that's another rendition. And then over here, I just have the letter E. Um, a lot of times the, the lead singer, you know, you'll hear if you have the call and the response, kuru, kuru, bete, mari, wo, sai, mari, wo, re, mari, wo, and then the lead will go, eh, kuru, kuru, bete. Or he'll start off the entire song. Eh, kuru, kuru, bete. That little eh is the sign. Hey, I'm coming in. I'm going to continue singing. Um, or I'm going to start singing. So at the time, you know, maybe he'll start with eh, kuru, kuru, bete. And the, the chorus sings everything. The response, they sing everything. By the time you hear mari wo re, mari wo. By the time they get to this last word, you might hear the lead, you know, start. Eh, kuru, kuru, bete. So there's a tad overlap. Um... And that's just a, a signal saying, I'm coming and I'm going to sing. But that's it. It's really short. Um, this is one of my favorite songs. It's very catchy. It gets stuck in your head. I'm going to sing it one more time at regular speed. Um, both ways. So you can hear the different uh, variances in the songs. Okay? So. Kuru kuru bete mari wo sai mari wo re mari wo. Kuru kuru be ye me. Kuru kuru me ye mari wo sai mari wo ye mari wo e kuru kuru bete mari wo sai mari wo re re mari wo. Messed up a little bit, but 
you know, uh, you got to hear all three uh, renditions of the song. And uh, this is what you would sing. Uh, for me personally, it's not traditional, but you know, if you're going out and you're going to be uh, picking herbs from outside, maybe you have a garden. You know, I recently got into gardening and I was singing songs to Osain like this while I was planting because Osain is the Orisha of, of all vegetation and plants that come from the ground. Orisha Oko is the Orisha of soil and the earth and you put the seed in the earth. That's Osain. Once that sprouts and turns into greenery, that's Osain. So when you take from the forest, um, you're taking from Osain. And you'll sing these songs. A lot of people, they'll be in the fields and they'll be cutting down vegetation and whatnot. And they're singing, you know, kuru, kuru, bete, when an Orisha is uh, being born. And they're using the ewe, the, uh, the herbs, ewe, herbs, ewe odara, beautiful herbs. Um, that's an honor of Osain. So keep that in mind. You know, maybe you're, you garden or you're going outside and you're in the forest. You can sing these kind of songs to Osain and you're saying, hey, God bless you, you know, bless me. You have all this vegetation, so all the herbs, mints, and cilantro, everything that grows from the earth belongs to Osain. Um, and then you can get deeper into it saying, oh, you know, this herb belongs to Chango, this one fern belongs to, to Ochun. But all encompassing, um, Osain is the owner of all herbs and, and vegetation that grows from the earth, and he knows the secrets to all vegetation and leaves. And then from there, it gets differently dispersed, the Ache gets dispersed to each Orisha. So Osain own, owns ferns, he owns all, all vegetation, and Ochun owns fern. So they each have their own Ache and different herbs, but Osain owns all of them. Okay, hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, thank you very much for watching. El Conquistador, over and out.